Hi everybody, Dr. Scott Therrell, board certified chiropractic neurologist and founder and owner of Functional Restoration, my private practice that focuses on helping you have your very best brain and your best body. Today's topic, a broad one, headaches. They're certainly common and there are many, many different reasons for them. We're going to focus on one reason that seems to help a lot of people a lot of the time, inflammation. So we say inflammation and it sounds vague and what does it mean, but guess what? The most common type of inflammation from your immune system is probably from what you're doing most days, all day, multiple times a day, and that's eating. So when we eat foods that are pro-inflammatory, foods like sugar, foods like alcohol, foods like grains that are really cause our immune system to work very hard and we do it in a way that's consistent, meaning you eat it two, three, four times a day, well our poor gut can't keep up with that and keep a healthy immune response. And 80% of our immune system comes from our gut, from our stomach lining and our intestines. So one of the things that we talk about when we talk about headaches are what you're eating in your diet, as well as then talking about maybe we're having some altered and hyperactive immune responses to what you're eating. Things like gluten, things like dairy and casein, one of the bean proteins that's in cow's milk. And how do we do that? Well, we use a little finger prick blood test. So we prick your finger, we fill in five circles with blood drops, and we send it off to the lab, Great Plains Laboratory. And together they come back with 94 different foods, looking at a marker called IgG, immunoglobulin G. That's one of many ways that your immune system can react to foods, but it's a pretty common one and it's a very cost-effective marker for looking at a broad category of many different foods that we're eating and seeing just how your immune response is functioning. If some of those markers come back high, guess what? I'll probably tell you you should be wheat-free or gluten-free or dairy-free, or soy-free, or corn-free, just depending upon your own individual results. And as we take that out of the diet, and that test helps guide your diet for the next three months or so, we then check back in and say, okay, how is this affecting inflammation, and how is this ultimately affecting your pain? In this case, headaches. It's not the only thing that we're going to do. We're also going to make sure that your intestinal tract is well nourished. We're going to feed it probiotics, the good bugs that live in your gut that help fight off the bad bugs that create inflammation. We're also going to make sure that you're getting fish oils and essential fatty acids so that you're getting the good anti-inflammatory fats that aren't too often found in our traditional American diet these days. And with that together, with other lifestyle options, we're hoping to give you a low inflammatory diet to fuel your brain and fuel your body and see how it affects your pain perception. All right, that's one little window into headaches. We'll do more as time goes on. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Dr. Scott Therrell, wishing you your very best brain, your best body, and your best life. Take care.